Uh, welcome to Raw Online. I am Dr. Sukanya, general physician. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic: drug-induced liver injury. So we know this drug-induced liver injury, also shortly called as DLI, is a well-recognized problem, and it can mimic both acute and chronic liver disease. Liver injury can develop from inhalation, ingestion, or parenteral administration of a number of pharmacological drugs and various chemical agents. and liver injury may be caused by various industrial toxins certain species of toxic uh, mushroom poisoning and some pharmacological drugs used in medical therapy also so any patient who is going to present to you with jaundice or any altered even if asymptomatic if they are presenting with altered biochemical liver test definitely you have to question them about any history of drugs taken by prescription or over the counter any exposure to chemicals used at work or at home or use of any alternative medicines or any herbal remedies so any person who is going to present with altered lft or jaundice history of drug intake is very very important now what are the risk factors for dli or drug induced liver injury so it is a complex interplay of three factors that is drug factors host related factors and environmental issues so what are the drug Uh, related issues which are important is the chemical structure of the drug the chemical structure of the drug the molecular weight of the drug the lipophilicity of the drug because once it is highly lipophilic that is if it is soluble in lipid it can easily enter the cell membrane and can destroy the cellular elements so the lipophilicity of the drug the dose and duration of the drug we know certain drugs are toxic say for example rifampicin or pyrazinamide or inh paracetamol we know they are hepatotoxic but at particular doses so we know paracetamol at particular dose is toxic to the liver so therapeutic dose and toxic dose you have two different entities so the dose of the drug is also very important and the duration of consumption so certain drugs taken on a long term basis can cause hepatotoxicity so all these history should be obtained from the patient what are the host factors which are important for causing or patients are susceptible to liver toxicity by certain drugs why is that so so what are the host factors first age of the patient we know adults are more susceptible to dli than children and certain diseases those with underlying comorbid conditions like diabetes mellitus or obesity or underlying immunocompromised state or underlying diseases like rheumatoid arthritis sle or any underlying chronic hepatitis like hepatitis b or c so these individuals are more susceptible or more prone to develop a drug induced liver injury when a certain suspicious drug or when a certain toxic known hepatotoxic drug is being given to them and gender of the patient again female gender is more susceptible than male genetic factors there are genetic polymorphisms exist in the metabolizing enzyme like cytochrome the enzymes so again that plays a role in the development of drug induced liver injury immune status already we discussed in metabolism of the drug so certain uh, individuals metabolize the drug faster they are rapid metabolizers some metabolize with intermediate speed and some with slow metabolizers so altered metabolism of the drug exist among various individuals so that all depends on the host factors on which the patient is going to develop a drug induced liver injury and what are the environmental factors consumption of alcohol coffee tobacco certain toxins they all play a role in this now what are the mechanisms of liver injury now coming to mechanisms of liver injury totally there are six mechanisms of liver injury so first is rupture of the cell membrane if you see here there are blebs which are formed on magnification you see the blebs are formed on the membrane and these blebs rupture and ultimately the cellular elements are destroyed so rupture of the cell membrane so certain drugs they directly cause toxicity to the cell membrane and they destroy the cell membrane other mechanism is injury to the bile canaliculus so you here this is the bile canaliculus this is the magnified view of it so there is destruction of the bile canaliculus and such patients are going to present with cholestatic type of liver injury third mechanism is covalent binding of the cytochrome pre 450 and the drug forming drug adex that is so this is the drug 
This is the cytochrome P450 enzyme. So, they form a covalent bonding and they form a drug addict. So, these drug addicts are, they inhibit the enzyme. They inhibit the various proteins and enzymes involved in drug metabolism. So, this again results in drug toxicity. Fourth mechanism is immunological mechanism. So, these drug addicts, I said, the covalent bonding of the drug and the cytochrome P450 enzyme forms drug addicts. And these drug addicts, they act as neoantigens. They stimulate the uh, enzymatic uh, cytotoxic T lymphocytes and there is targeted destruction or immunological destruction of the cell. So, these drug addicts can induce an immunological response and cause immunological destruction of the cells. Next pathway is apoptosis, activation of apoptic pathway by TNF alpha receptor and FAS ligand, stimulation of caspases and all this can result in cell apoptosis and cell death. And the final pathway is inhibition of mitochondrial function. So, mitochondrial beta oxidation and respiration can be inhibited which again results in cell death. So, these are the overall mechanisms by which various drugs causes liver injury. So, it can damage the cell membrane, it can damage the bile canaliculus, it can damage the mitochondria, it can induce apoptosis, it can cause covalent binding to the cytochrome P450 enzymes forming drug addicts which inhibits the enzyme activity and these drug addicts can also stimulate the immunological response by inducing the cytotoxic T lymphocytes.